this one is just playing into Justin ha Justin's hands, really. B B B yeah, well, uh, quite right. BBC News. And, you know, if, if, if it's the BBC, it has to be true. <laughs> they're the atheist bunch uh, there. They're not all atheists. <laughs> mm. Religious children are less able to distinguish fantasy from reality. If you expose your child to Moses, Muhammad, or Matthew, the apostle, they're at a disadvantage. Do you think that's true? What I think it does is it makes it harder, as the study clearly suggests, for children to distinguish what's fantastical from what's real. Now, the, the problem for me is that in our world right now, it's very complex, and there are lots of things that are counterintuitive. So it's very important that children have a high sensitivity to be able to distinguish things that are counterintuitive but happen to be true or real, you know, science, like quantum mechanics. Very counterintuitive the way the actual world of subatomic yeah. particles works, but it happens to be true. Compare that to things which are counterintuitive, like, say, homeopathy and other naturopathic medicines, and those are also fantastical. So it's important for children to be trained in science to be able to distinguish it those It is, two. but it's the idea of being mutually exclusive that I have problems with here, because we live in an age of incredible credulity. Uh, idiots on TV say something, it has to be true. Elvis alive or dead, UFOs, conspiracy exactly. theories. And most of the people embrace these. They haven't been raised in, in a religious home. I, I don't think a, a, a young child being raised as a Christian or a Muslim or, or a Jew, I don't think that interferes with their grasp of reality. No, if they're being taught critical thinking skills, a uh, way to approach, you know, the world scientifically, um, then I think that that is far more important than whether or not they're also raised with a religious upbringing. But, mm. you, but it's the combination, because usually you have okay. children who are not given that. I think this is system. another BBC elitist <laughs> attempt to annoy <laughs> religious people. Yeah, well, uh, of course, when you look at the source, you look, you, you question the validity of this report. But, but, so you're throwing but, but further BBC to as this, a source? Yes, uh, <laughs> absolutely. But further than this... You, you, uh, you, an atheist only looks at whatever they can see or feel or touch or hear or taste or smell. They have no. They believe in things like love. They believe in emotion. Of, don't of, they? Uh, of uh, but uh, of anything feel. that is real that is beyond uh, what their senses tell them. But we know that a spirit is a is something that you can sense, not with your five senses but you can experience it. And therefore, of course, there are things that we don't understand. There are things that are fantastical. There are things that are supernatural. And of course, children that are raised that way would have a tendency to agree. But to say that they are susceptible to, to some kind of uh, I well, think what you're alluding to is uh, unreality Charles, based on, on video games and I, nonsense I, like that. I, I had, uh... A lot of beers with Pat Condell, who's a very well-known atheist, um, a couple of months ago in London, and, and he said that, that that particular brewery was fantastic. So he obviously does believe in things. <laughs> but, sure. but No, I think you're being unfair. Uh, intelligent atheists, I mean, that they, they understand that, that, that there are, there's emotion in life and there are feelings. And I, mean, I, I don't. Sure, but you're, they, you're, but they you're don't, putting them all under one umbrella. They don't recognize umbrella. the spirit. Is, do you have a spirit? I mean, they don't uh, recognize well, I would the spirit. No spirit that See, survives on, death. Let me... I would. I would quibble with you in terms of how you define spirit. I mean, not to get into definitions here, but I, I do well, believe in something like the spi like spirituality, we're, something we're more like than a the sum sense of, of connection parts. to the universe, if you will. There, really? There what is that? What, hold on, what, what, is, what does that mean? Well, uh, to me, it's a, it's a metaphorical idea. Spiritual it's a, it's an connection inspiration. to the universe. It's not a physical thing. It's not that I am going to return physically to the universe or have but an afterlife. How can, you, can you show it to me? No, I, I well, can't. Then how can I believe it? Well, you have just said that atheists believe in love, they believe in beauty, you yeah. know, they're, they're inspired by You're all sorts of things. Opening up a door here, be very careful. Be, there are all sorts of things that cannot be actually yes. uh, tested physically, True. But, but they do exist. Amen. But Absolutely agree. Well, let's move on now. Yeah. Revival. He's halfway there, yeah. Charles. Yeah. Well, these, these are things let's that are watch. observable. These are things that, are, that affect our life. Let's watch God's Not Dead next, and then we can all... <laughs> The stigma, the, the stigma of being an atheist in the U.S. Uh, atheists in the U.S. are rallying together, launching a new TV program and providing support for those who go public with their beliefs. Now, you've mentioned <laughs> the word offensive several times. Frankly, I don't care who's offended. I, I, I'm offended, I therefore I am. You know, just get over it. But the idea that coming out as an atheist is somehow going to be difficult for you, that, that, that is quite insulting. That, that really is. There are people who've declared things about themselves that put... I mean, to, to say today in Uganda that you're gay, you could be killed for that. Mm -hmm. uh, to, 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 to be um, a Jew in a Muslim country today could put your life in absolute danger. 
To be an atheist in the United States... Well, hold on, but if we're looking at international examples... Let's He's look talking at, about let's the U.S. At, no, but these you're people, giving me international examples. To be an atheist in many of those countries you've named, including, I think, 10 countries I mean, in the Middle East, right. is also a death penalty. This person has said that if they come out as an atheist in the U.S., they could be under threat. Do you believe yeah. that? I don't believe that they're under physical threat, but I also don't believe in the hysteria from a lot of Christians that faith is under attack in America either. Sure. There's a lot of paranoia on both sides. What's true, though, I, is if no. you're an atheist... I can live with that. If you're an atheist, you, have, you know, atheism is the most distrusted minority group in the U.S., akin to rapists on uh, some surveys yeah, of it? distrust. <laughs> more di atheists are more distrusted than, than Muslims and any other religious minority. Well, I would hope so. Only at the same level <laughs> as... As rapists. Oh, uh, you said rapists twice. So, I, I, I didn't realize yeah. that. So surveys show yes, that atheists are not shocking. trusted. In fact, that, that, there's a study wow. that's been done out of University of British Columbia where they asked UBC students, so young Canadians, and again, the same levels of distrust really? against atheists. It's I'm it's amazed amazing. they knew what an atheist was. But if we have six, uh, you know, uh, cultural yeah. sensitivity or race Just, relations classes, why not I think this will be the, the least watched program in the history of television. Yeah. And this idea that atheists are under some kind of threat is the very reverse when you get into the academic world. Uh, That's someone true. of faith can lose their job, they can even lose tenure, they can lose uh, their livelihood just because they have exercised their belief in something beyond the the the, I'm the not basic sure so much about that, but I, I do what, think a, a student at university who was a, an Orthodox Christian, for example, I think they could quite easily be stigmatized, uh, mm -hmm. marginalized, made fun of. It might make tenure or a job in the academic uh, world a little bit more I difficult. I don't disagree with that. But for a lot of atheists, le le telling their parents that they are not of the same faith as the rest of their family is a, it can be an incredibly emotionally damaging experience. So and unlike mean, religious minorities who might feel threatened in a, in a country with a different religious majority, usually your own family is going to be the same religion, so you have some protection. Well, in my, my case, when, there, I, when I, told so my, I became a, a Catholic uh, back in 1985, and I told my dad, and his response was, if it makes you out of me, just don't tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> Which I thought was fair enough from a you know, Cockney cab bad. driver, really. Sure. But I, I, well, okay, let's end very quickly with this. W woman, women in fact, plural, women ordered to stop praying inside a shopping mall. They claim they were praying very quietly, and they weren't being public, and they were told to get out. Do you believe it? Yeah, I believe it. I mean, we see this often where uh, people, are, people are having their rights infringed upon. It was and Georgia as well, which is a place where there are quite yeah, a few Christians. Which made me doubt it, but I guess it's true, and it's, it's ridiculous. Sure, obviously. and it is ridiculous because we are guaranteed freedom of religion whether in any public place, but unfortunately, many people place, don't believe It's not a public place, but that's it. kind of beside the point. I mean, yeah. it, it, it is crazy. It seems like the policy was based on the fact that there had been proselytizing in the mall. But yeah, this okay. is, of course, going way too far the other way. Uh, should we end with a prayer? No, I'm only Amen. joking. That wouldn't be allowed. Uh, gentlemen, th gentlemen, thank you very much indeed. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs>